Welcome to another racing and training video. In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's kind of a hot topic right now here in Washington State with Ironman Washington 70.3 coming up. And uh, the topic is about rain. And the course is expected to be wet uh, coming this coming Sunday here. And I want to talk a little bit about some of my experiences of racing in the rain or racing when it's completely soaked through. Um, I personally have done two races, both Ironman Atlantic City 70.3, and both those times I somehow bring wet weather with me to races. Uh, even to Milwaukee this year was kind of an adventure on that. Um, and so uh, both those times, yeah, it was it was kind of pouring, and I've seen a lot of crashes on race day when it has rained quite a bit. And um, unfortunately, yeah, there have been people that have gone to the hospital because they really don't think about the rainy weather and rainy conditions and being too aggressive. So I'll give you a few pointers and tips to how to deal with the rain. And how do you train in the rain? Because sometimes you're going to need to train in the rain. So the first thing is slow is steady and steady is fast. You can still go fast in the rain, but when it comes to thinking about pacing, you may want to just take it down just a hair. Because at the end of the day, you want to make it in one piece. You don't want to have heavy scratches or to have a bike crash or anything like that. So go steady about it. You don't need to rush anything. So if anything, don't rush the bike, especially. Um, so the second thing with biking, with corners, take your time. And the last thing you want to do is go into a corner really hot and then to try to grab on brakes, especially if you have rim brakes, uh, it takes a lot longer on rim brakes to grab and uh, be able to get braking to go around corners. So by all means, do not try to go into corners hot. So take your time, slow down. The third. Uh, what has worked for me, and a lot of people suggest this, is just lower your PSI just a little bit. You don't need to lower it like 20 to 30 percent, but maybe like 5 percent adjustment on your racing tire pressure uh, from your dry conditions, just to make sure that you have a little bit of grip on the road. And speaking to tire pressures and tires in general, it's good to have a fresh set of tires and making sure that you have good grip. There's also rain tires, which are also a good idea as well. Um, and you can inflate those a little bit more towards regular pressure, especially if you have rain tires. Uh, the fourth tip that I have, and something that I am still learning that uh, I could always use more shamey cream in those uh, not so pleasant places where you think. And believe me, when you are soaked through, especially when it's wet out there, you're going to chafe a whole lot more and in places that you don't expect. And uh, I know I chafe in my armpits, which is a real unfortunate thing, um, and so I'm planning on doing that extra chamois cream. If you got body glide, definitely layer that stuff on you a little bit more, and you're going to be happy. Uh, the fifth here, and uh, something that I've kind of still learning the hard way, is go and bring the extra spare tube. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen on the race day. And typically when it starts raining, debris starts coming up on the road. And you won't know what type of debris that is until it might be too late and before you know it, you have a flat. So uh, do bring that extra and bring, so rather than one extra spare tire, uh, bring two. So you should have two on you as much as you can. Or hopefully you won't puncture or hopefully you won't hit something too bad, but you just don't know what's going to happen on race day. And then the last one, and it's kind of hard for me to say this, but really, HTFU. Everybody's going to be out there on race day in the rain. It's not going to be comfortable. Uh, be prepared to be uncomfortable throughout the entirety of the race or the training ride. And uh, with that, uh, so remember to bundle up a little bit more if you feel like you're going to get a little bit cold. Uh, a rain jacket, especially a cycling rain jacket, can be really useful here. But everybody's going to go through it. And 
quite honestly, uh, you're going to have to really deal with it. Now, the only exception is if it's raining and it's only like five degrees centigrade or temperatures are below 50 degrees, then okay, then now you have to, then race directors and officials will really have to start thinking. But again, uh, believe in your training. Um, the rain shouldn't really affect you too much, uh, especially when it comes to, well, the swim, you're gonna be wet anyways, right? And the run, uh, it is going to be a little bit, it's gonna be wet on the run, so if you haven't run in wet weather or you don't have good traction shoes, especially for trail running, um, I highly recommend having a good set of shoes that have a lot of grip on the run, uh, but the run shouldn't really be affected much on the rain. If anything, it'll cool you down, but you may have hot weather rain and that of course is not going to be very much fun because when it's hot and humid uh yeah you're going to be sticky all over anyway so what's additional rain going to do to you so those are my tips uh i'm sure that there's many more tips from other folks so again this is not a comprehensive list but these are just a couple of things to think about when you're racing and training in the rain and so with that uh that's basically a summary there, and so if you like the content of uh, what I provided, and apologies for not posting in a little while because work has been crazy, but if you like the content, if you like the content, excuse me, uh, go and hit that subscribe button, click on the bell to get notifications when I post videos, and of course leave a comment down in the video below and hit the subscribe button. And until then, I'll see you on race day.